Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go in and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So as soon as we come up to the front of Meyer here, Jess is checking out some of the flowers. Yeah. Which ones you like? I like all of them. They do look nice. Look like they've been taking good care of them. Uh, you won't find this kind of attention at Walmart. <laughs> I think we may have found a winner. What are those called? I don't know. Pete something? Verbena. 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 Yeah, they're pretty. So up front and center, as soon as we come into Meyer here, they do have their bell peppers still on sale. Part of the 10 for 10. Get the 11th item free. Uh, these are a dollar a piece. So you could buy 10 of these. Get an 11th item free. Or you can mix and match. It's a great deal going on this week at Meyer. I know a lot of people were talking about it. They do have their green seedless grapes on sale this week. 99 cents a pound. It's a pretty good deal. Also, even better deal. Uh, 89 cents a pound on the southern peaches. That's pretty awesome. We've been seeing peaches go from like $2.49 a pound. So 89 cents a pound, buy them up. So it does look like they're out of them right now, but they do have their two pound strawberries on sale for $3.99 this week. Also, I noticed they're starting to put the signs way up above, kind of like Sam's Club. So we'll have to pay attention to that uh, as we go along here. They have the pint of blueberries on sale for $2.99 this week. And the sweet cherries, which they are completely out of, uh, they are still on sale for $5.99 a pound this week. They do have the broccoli crowns, part of the 10 for 10 deal this week. And again, all you have to do is buy 10 items. Uh, anything that's on this participating deal and you get an 11th item free of the participating deal these are only a dollar like if you come in and don't want to get 10 items these are still a dollar but if you want to get the 11th item free you do have to get 10 and that is multiples of 10 say you get 20 items and you would get uh, two items free they do have their cantaloupes on sale two for five this week you do have to get two of them they're regularly 2.99 though so uh, the personal uh, smaller watermelons, uh, $4.99 each. So I did find a thing of watermelons over here with a price. They are $5.99 though, which we've seen them much cheaper in some other stores. Uh, we've seen them on sale anywhere from $3.99 to $4.49. Um, so yeah, $5.99 is a little pricey. They also have the Bold House Farms Baby Cut Carrots. Always good to stock up on these bad boys when they're on sale because we've been seeing these go anywhere from $1.49 to $1.99 on sale part of the 10 for 10 this week here at Meyer. It's a good price. I mean, I remember when these were a dollar all the time. Bold House Farms, though, one of my favorite kind of carrots. So I noticed that they actually lowered the price of the bananas here. Remember, these were 55 cents a pound last week. Now they're back down to 49 cents a pound. Uh, it's pretty much 49 cents a pound everywhere around here. So I think that's maybe why they did it, because they didn't want to be the highest price for bananas in town. So here's something interesting. Uh, maybe they're getting this in because of all the peanut butter uh, going out the door lately in a lot of stores here. I feel like Jif peanut butter kind of caused a downward spiral to all the peanut butters uh, across the country here because we can't find any. I've never seen this before. Um, $3.99. This is normally $4.99. So this is some pretty expensive stuff. Uh, let's see. Expires December 2023. So about a year and a half on that one. Kind of chasing Jess all over the store at the moment. We are buying a few things here. But I wanted to show how low the cereal is. Does this look familiar? About six months ago when we couldn't find any cereal. I mean, they have some, but I mean, all the regulars seem like they're flying off the shelves again. There's some we'll have to keep an eye on. Uh, we haven't gotten a lot of comments on cereal lately, but I remember, you know, six, seven months ago, it was uh, quite an issue. Not much of a sale, but I did want to point out that they do have the Campbell's uh, Chunky Soups on sale. Two for $4 this week, only down from $2.09. Um, they also have the home style ones that are normally $2.99, two for four, so much better deal here. And Progresso Soup 219 here at Meyer, as we all know, 299 at Kroger. Everybody wants to know what you think of all these rising prices. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. I was pointing out the cereal again. 
Have you noticed like all the stuff that has been kind of going away? It's like kind of the same stuff that was six months ago. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. You gonna buy those flowers? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we need to go to the garden center. And... Yeah. <laughs> Extreme close up. <laughs> See, looks like the uh, we did see that the old fashioned oats at Kroger was back down to three ninety nine. They are five fifty nine here, and they do have the Myers old fashioned oats for three ninety nine. Uh, we've tried them both. Quaker's better. I swear, tuna just continues to get ravaged in the stores, uh, especially Meyer here. I mean, you know, they do have a good amount, but all the cheaper options. Uh, like the star kiss we were pointing this out the other day dollar 19 a can dollar 19 a can for the cheapest wild caught tuna in water dollar 19 we can usually find a sale somewhere for a dollar a can now we saw their dollar 25 obviously at dollar tree we saw they were a dollar 40 at family dollar making some of these quote value stores not so valuable anymore uh, we did see these cans of uh, the bumblebee tuna here these are a dollar 29 uh dollar 25 at dollar tree so I, I had thought that these were a little higher than that but yeah this is a little bit of a better deal at dollar tree they're really starting to get hit on a lot of the uh swanson chicken and some of the even the myers chicken people are starting to buy this stuff up we're seeing less and less pretty much everywhere we go. We've gotten some comments on the Denti Moore. We do see that this has gone up. These were $269, now they're $289. These are still the same price. The big one is still $529. Maybe they haven't changed the sticker yet. Like I always say, if you have something in question, take a picture of it so you can show them uh, at the register. Uh, they do have the Myers brand 20 ounce here for $2.19. Never tried their brand. If you have tried the Myers beef stew, let me know down in the comments um they do have some which they still haven't raised the prices on some of the keystone meats here the pork and the chicken is still 7.99 uh it is 8.90 actually i believe it it was 8.99 at kroger but somebody had told me that it's gone up in some spots to 9.49 10.99 for the beef i believe it's still 10.49 at our kroger but we've gotten a lot of comments across the country that it's gone up so it's probably going to be coming up at our store too uh, Keystone is actually not too far from us. They're in Lima, Ohio, so that could be a reason why we get it a little cheaper. But, yeah, just kind of looking over some of this stuff. I know people have been asking about Hormel chilies. Um, yeah, we don't seem to have too much of an issue finding it, but we've gotten some comments that uh, some people have had trouble. So these are the ones with the, the chili sauce for the hot dogs, $2.39. Some different chilies here, $1.99 a can. And just a heads up, um, a lot of people that buy this Swanson chicken, I know we have a lot of people on the channel that do, $3.49 here at Myers, the cheapest price that we've seen it lately. It is $5.49 a can at Kroger for the regular price. We saw it on sale for $4.49 last week, but $5.49 for this, no thanks. We will just continue to buy ours at Sam's Club. I know that the one at Sam's Club... Uh, somebody had said it went up again. The last time we bought ours, we got six of them for $15.98, which was up a couple dollars. But I hear it's gone up another couple dollars. We'll have to check the next time we go to Sam's Club. They do have their Sargento cheese on sale this week. The 8-ounce package sliced for $2.99 a pack, down from $3.69. These are two for $5 at Kroger this week. So much better deal. Um... Yeah, you know, you save a dollar if you buy two of them. What were you saying? I said this place is dead. It really is. It really is. Nobody shops on Sunday, I, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, that's the thing. That's what's weird about it is it's Sunday. It is Father's Day. Also, happy Father's Day to all the great dads out there. Yes. Happy Father's Day. We just got done hanging out with Jessica's dad. That was a lot of fun. Wanted to glance over where all the peanut butter used to be here. They don't have peanut butter, but they got banana peppers. Yeah, I mean, this is just crazy. Uh, no peanut butter, no Jif, no Skippy, no Peter Pan, no Meyer brand. Uh, they do have some of these more expensive brands, but as you can see, people are even buying this stuff. People are even buying this up. This was full last week. 
some of these really expensive ones i don't i don't think too many people buy these oh but you know they probably will you know people are going to be less and less picky as we go along here we did see plenty of kroger peanut butter at kroger's the other day but who knows you know people can't find it here they're going to all be going uh, to uh kroger to get it somebody was saying that they've had some issues trying to find different jellies one of them was strawberry they have a strawberry jam down here uh, they got some jellies, but I gotta say, it does seem like it's, uh, you know, they kind of spread it out here. Because usually Myers has a pretty good variety of it. Um, but yeah, they do have some of the Welch's grape, which somebody asked about. Uh, I just see the strawberry jam and the preserves. Uh, let's see, they got the Smucker's squeeze bottle here. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's pretty low. Somebody was asking me to check out some of the canned fruits. Um, they do have a bunch of the Del Monte here, $1.99. Uh, these have ranged from $2.29 to $2.79 at Kroger. It looks like all of it. Uh, some of the different ones at Kroger were a little more expensive, but most all the Del Monte is uh, $1.99. And they have the Meyer fruits here, uh, $1.29 a can. So a little better for the Meyer does look like they're starting to get some of the king arthur flower which we've gotten a lot of comments on um and it is cheaper here than it is at kroger kroger's has gone up to pretty much 5.39 a bag on every one of these uh but they've been having sales on it too so we'll have to check for that most importantly they're getting it back in we've seen a lot of comments that they haven't been able to find it also somebody asked about the gold bread flour here 4.79 for five pounds uh in my opinion this is the best flour to make bread um one of the best i know somebody was also asking about the uh king arthur they actually got it in here i know we didn't see this at kroger the other day what's your favorite flour i don't know <laughs> myers whatever i have in the cabinet <laughs> whatever we have in the cabinet that's right uh we usually use the gold don't we yeah yeah i mean the myers you know have we ever <laughs> used the meyer i don't think so i don't think so either Actually, I know we've used we've Kroger. Used Kroger yeah. yeah, Kroger's pretty good. Um, King Arthur's really good, but yeah, it's a little pricey. So I wanted to point out for all our Thomas Bagel lovers out there, and we've got a lot of them on sale this week. Three forty-nine for the Thomas Bagels. This includes all of them, all of them. Three dollars and forty-nine cents down from four nineteen. Ever since we started moving toward the back of the store here, it's been harder and harder to find things that are 10 for 10. We will go over some more here, uh, but they do have the uh, different Myers pretzels here, part of the 10 for 10. Now this is Sunday, so they would have just put this out. So I don't know if they're not getting these in, but they had to put the sale out anyway, but we've had these pretzels before, pretty good. Definitely worth a buck. I will say that there are a lot of chips. Uh, they, they're all the Meyer brand. Uh, on the 10 for 10 so something to check out it might be a little better to go online to see what all deals are because i took a quick glance over the ad um we've definitely seen way more things that are 10 for 10 in the store here than that were on the physical ad okay so not for us but for you guys we were hoping that the pop the two liters were on sale i know we got a lot of comments on these they are buy two get one free mix or match coca-cola pepsi or seven up products uh, so buy two, get one free. So that's a little bit of a deal, but yeah, it's not, I don't know if we'll ever see these again on the, uh, buy 10 for 10, save or get, get one free. I don't know. Let's check the Meyer brands. So it does look like most of the pop is included in the buy two, get one free deal, but this, yeah, we're not seeing any of the other brands for a dollar. Okay, so we were across from the baby formula aisle, thought I would come and check. It looks like every time we come here, they're getting a little bit more and more in. They have put up a new limit sign due to manufacturer shortages. Good to see the honesty in this. Keep it simple. Manufacturer shortages, that is what it is. You know, let's not put anything up there that is, you know, could be uh, misread. We've got the uh, Similac NeoSure here. Wow, $8.99. I feel like some of this stuff they are lowering prices on because I feel like this stuff used to be really expensive. Uh, we've seen this uh, 
some places for $9.99, some places for $11.99. Maybe they're coming down in the other stores too. We'll have to check. Uh, they do have these six packs of the Similac, which these are kind of flying off the shelves here, mostly because they don't have anything else. Uh, the Total Care here and the Sensitive, they are $16.99 though. Uh, we have seen these cheaper. I believe Kroger's is selling them for $15.99. So a little cheaper there. It does look like they're getting more in here, like different kinds. Like, I don't remember. Okay, yeah, this is the soy ice and melt. Wow, it looks like they changed the the advertising on there a little bit. That one's $8.99 also. Um, and the Similac of the, like, this is the powder here, yeah. $26.99, jeez. That seems crazy expensive. They do have some of the Gerber here. Uh, Wow, am I reading this right? No. No, that's Infamil. This is Gerber. That's probably just placed there. But they do have the smaller uh, Good Start Gerber Soy here. That's what this one is. $19.49. So if you can use that, that's a little cheaper than Similac. Also, they have the Infamil here, which seems a little bit cheaper. Also, they have one down here for $17.99, one here for $18.99. And, uh, yeah. I mean, at least they're getting some in. I'm sure this stuff is flying off the shelves as fast as it's coming in. People are probably showing up as soon as the store opens. You can feed babies Vienna sausages? <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. I've what? never seen that before. What? Sorry, that was a super random. You would have to chop that up some. I mean, it says for toddlers, so I guess once they're able to chew, they can. But oh, it still okay. seems really random. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> I thought I heard you say that. I was like, what? Uh, it does look like they're getting in more baby food than they've had. Uh, we saw a couple weeks ago this was pretty much completely empty. Um, but yeah, there does look like they're getting in. One, one thing, though, is that people can make their own baby food. You can blend stuff together, which may be healthier. Um, but they are getting some of the beech nut back in, which some people have asked about. Uh, oh, they got the prunes. This is the one somebody was asking about here. Dollar nineteen a jar. Sounds a little pricey. Might invest in a good blender, blend up some prunes. I, I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. These are a little pricey. So I wasn't even going to point this out because it seems like every time we come to Meyer, they don't have any water anyway. Do seem to be getting the Pure Life purified water in, and they're also, I see a few ice mountains here. Now, I haven't seen ice mountain at Meyer here in a long time. I will say there is no way. Oh, 6.59. Okay, but these are the... I guess the 24, the pop top caps there. I don't know, that's very expensive for some water. I mean, and they're like pretty much wiped out on their jugs of water here too. I know some people still ask about distilled water. You know, we can find it here sometimes. Um, but, you know, we saw where uh, Kroger's uh, water in the gallons it was like a dollar forty nine. I forget what they are here. I think they're a dollar nine. I don't know. I don't see a price tag. Oh, here we go. Yeah, dollar nine here for the distilled water. So a little cheaper than Kroger. And that could be why people are buying it up. I know that people use distilled water to clean like medical equipment, CPAPs, stuff like that. Um, and you can only buy two. Demand for this product is extraordinarily high. So. I don't know. Uh, it always seems like there's more at Kroger. So I did want to point out they do have their chicken legs back on sale. And sometimes you can find these 20% off savings deals. Uh, I gotta say, they look great. Um, and if it's ready to expire, like I always say, cook dinner tonight or tomorrow and then freeze the rest. Be good to go. $1.49 a pound now. The regular price of these is $1.99 a pound. $1.49 is a great price. Six dollars and ten cents for this big thing of drumsticks. That's a great deal. Looks like they're keeping their hamburger, the 80-20 hamburger, for $3.99 a pound. Really the best deal around. Um, the only deal you're going to get any close to this is Sam's Club. At least our Sam's Club. Uh, it's $4.18 a pound for the 88-12. 88% lean, so really lean meat at Sam's Club for $4.18 a pound. $3.99 a pound here. I will say Meyer's hamburger is fantastic. You do have to buy in the bulk uh, style packaging of it here, which I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that anyway, because good to, good to get a good amount and just freeze it. 
I did want to show that Meyer still has their T-bones on sale. Um, it's a great deal on T-bone. Buy them up, put them in the freezer. Uh, $9.99 a pound, down from $12.59. You know, since they have so much, this has been on sale for a couple weeks now. I'm surprised they're not lowering this price a little more. I mean, honestly, this is, they must have an overabundance on T-bones. You know, it, it just seems like, and then it gets a porterhouse in here too. Porterhouse is $9.99 a pound too, yeah. $9.99 a pound. Um, but, yeah, if they want to, if they're trying to get rid of it, I'd knock a dollar off. $7.99, $8.99. 20% off, $4.46 for this. Wow. $3.21 for this. These look, you know, pretty decent too for uh, meat that's been reduced here. Uh, we have a person on the channel. This is all they shop for. They always come into the stores shop the reduced price meats this is the way to go you know you really want to save money get to the stores early check this stuff out we've been trying to do that more and more uh just to try and save an extra buck or two but you gotta say they got some pretty good deals on pork this week too the pork chops $1.99 a pound uh we've been seeing those go as high as $3.99 to $4.99 a pound at Kroger so that's a pretty good deal um we haven't been to Aldi in a while we love their pork chops but yeah, they're usually around, I think they went up. They're $2.99 a pound now at Aldi. They were $2.49, but they just went up. So you know what I bet happened last week? We saw that this sign here was right above the Johnsonville brats and Mets that they had. And I bet you they were selling these because this says Meyer. Meyer sausage, which is right here, the Italian sausages. Um, and there's no expiration eight. That might already be, can't even see the expired. Okay, that expired on the 18th, so that's that's an expired deal. So they do have the hot Italian sausages here, the Meyer brand for 519. Somebody was telling me these are really good. I've never tried them. But yeah, as you can see here, they took out all of the Johnsonville because they had this sign right above that. I bet you people were complaining getting those, taking them up to the register, finding out they were five something. Okay, so real quick, I see that the Boomerangs uh, Classics here are, have started to come back in here, the Shepherd's Pie. Uh, somebody told me to try one of these, and we haven't been able to find them. As a matter of fact, I just kind of stumbled on it here. I'm going to try this traditional beef. I'll let you know what I think. Hey guys, so we are back from Meyer. I wanted to try this Boomerangs Traditional Beef, all natural beef and gravy in a puff pastry inspired by the Aussie Beef Pie. Uh, now, we had gotten a couple comments on this a while back. It's been some months ago. But finally saw that they came in. I, I like how they do this here. If you want uh, if you want to do it in the microwave, what it is is you just open this box. You keep it in the box, and it has, like, the little uh, metal, uh, like, the, the metal strip thing at the top. So it crisps up the pie quite nicely. So, ooh, that is hot. Um... But yeah, it takes three minutes. Smells really good. Let's give it a shot. I've been pretty excited about this for a while. Uh, we got a lot of, or a few good comments on it. Smells good. This is really good. I love the pastry in it here, like the top crust. Uh, I feel it tastes like it wasn't cooked in a microwave. Didn't want to wait 25, 30 minutes to finish the video here eating this with you guys. But the gravy and the hamburger in it is really good. Uh, and it's got uh, good onion. It, there's onions in it too. Uh, really good flavor. I did want to point out too uh, that it's no artificial preservatives or flavors. No milk, eggs, or cheese. All natural beef. 11 grams of protein. 390 calories. And more importantly... Zero grams of sugar. I would have never thought that. I figured there would be a lot of sugar in it, but yeah, that tastes really good. Real quick, too, I kind of wanted to go over some of the things that we may have missed at Meyer. I know we were kind of rushing around. We had some shopping to do, too. Uh, one of the things they do have, it says in their ad, buy one, get one free of equal or lesser value of the boneless pork chops. Now, I didn't see that. In the store, but it is in the ad. So for $1.99 a pound of the ones we saw, I'm assuming, maybe they had a different section of them, not really sure, but it is a BOGO deal. Also, they have the Fredericks by Meyer cooked shrimp 
for 50% off, uh, buy one, get one uh, 50% off of equal or lesser value. So you buy one, get one 50% off, pretty good deal. They do have some more 10 for 10 items that we did not see. Uh, the body armor drinks that we always get comments on, that's part of the 10 for 10 deal. Also, the Cheetos macaroni and the pastaroni meals, uh, the different pastaroni meals in the boxes, uh, dollar a piece, part of the 10 for 10. The Vlasic Relish, Vlasic Relish, somebody just left a comment on uh, Relish on the channel. It is uh, a dollar. Everything we're going over here is a dollar. Obviously the mangoes, and I didn't see the small avocados, but those are a dollar also. Part of the 10 for 10, uh, get your 11th item free. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good deal if you can make it work for you. Um, and they do have the Meyer uh, tissues, uh, the lotion and regular uh, for a dollar. Part of the 10 for 10, and the Chobani yogurts. Chobani yogurt has gone up a lot lately in price. Um, and that's part of the 10 for 10. Also, also the 15 count of the Totina's pizza rolls and the Roma brand pizzas. Uh, and we saw where the different varieties of Meyer chips and pretzels and stuff uh, were part of that too. Uh, I missed this when we were in the tuna aisle, but they do have the, uh, the Starkist tuna or the chicken creation. So I assume it doesn't say on here. It just shows a picture of the Star, uh, Star Kit. Star Kissed Creations here. There they are. But it says tuna also. So I I don't know. And it says 2.6 to 3.28 ounces. And we know that the cans of the tuna are 4 ounces. 5 ounces with the water, 4 ounces drained. So it may not include those actually. But the Bush's Black Beans. Uh, and it just says Bush's Beans, 15 to 16 ounces select variety so whichever one comes up in the store that shows the deal obviously they're a dollar uh, also they have the sparkling ice drinks uh for a dollar part of the 10 for 10 and they have the john morell sausage ropes dollar a piece here that seemed out of everything that we've seen here this seems like the most bang for your buck campbell's chicken noodle soups swanson chicken broth uh myers diced tomatoes all kinds of stuff, really. I mean, a lot more than I thought there was originally here. Uh, they have pepperoni, like the pepperoni in the packs, uh, for a dollar. And, and again, you can check out online. Look at Myers' ad online, because I know we're they're not all the same. Hopefully, the 10 for 10 is going on all over the country at all the Myers. I, I, I hope so. Um, but, yeah, looks like they got some pretty good deals on here. They got candy for a dollar. Uh, they have some of the crackers, the Lance crackers, uh, up to 6.1 ounces of the Lance crackers. So those are the smaller packs. Um, but they do have all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It's funny, like, we walked past a lot of this stuff, and I, I didn't see it, so I don't know if they didn't. They may not have had the stickers out. One of the things I wanted to say is Myers was empty. I mean, I didn't film a lot of the stuff, like, the a lot of the frozen aisles... I saw some fries and stuff, but like I said, we were kind of shopping around, so I didn't want to film too much, but I wanted to put something out here for you guys today. And it just, I don't know, like the frozen aisles looked very empty. There were, as we saw in a lot of the end caps and everything, a lot of those were empty. We had walked by the dairy and toilet paper, and we were chatting away and everything, and I wasn't able to get any of that. The prices were the same. Toilet, pa toilet paper is low. Toilet paper is very low at Meyer. Um, maybe not as low as it was a few weeks ago, but, you know, it does look like they're keeping up good on all their dairy and some of the things you guys have asked about, like the lactate, the different lactate milks. Uh, we saw some of the Chobani oat milks and stuff like that that some people have asked about. They did have the Almond Breeze, the bigger jug, and the one in the carton, and they had the Silk Almond, which we've gotten comments on that as well. But Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure. Peace out.